Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated. Thank you in advance. Now what I want to talk to you about today is how addictive publishing, self-publishing, publishing any kind of book, doing everything yourself is. When I first started some years ago, um, I was preparing to write a book without any writing experience whatsoever. I didn't even finish school. I was pulled out of school to work on building sites. So, um, and I've been in the building trade pretty much my whole life. So writing or getting any sort of qualifications even um, from school was, uh, was out of the question. So it wasn't until just some just a few years ago, like I say, that I thought, yeah, you know, I'm I'm getting a little long in the tooth, if you like, and um, all that physical stuff is, uh, you know, I need to sort of leave that and um, think of something more gentle uh, on my on my body, on my mind, really, and um, I wanted to work from home. So, yeah, I started writing a book, and it was hard. So I started looking online to find out what's a paragraph, what's a sentence, uh, how many chapters in a book, uh, all kinds of things, uh, full stops, commas, where do they go? You know, it's, it, was, it was very, it was hard. And, uh, you know, I have to admit that it was addictive at the same time. And the more I tried to write this book, uh, the more I became addicted, if you like, I'm using addiction, it isn't the best word maybe, um, addicted to to writing a book. But I still didn't know how to publish. So what I thought I'd do is go online, find out how to publish, not just how to write, but how to publish. Um, do I need a traditional publisher? Do a do I need a company to take care of this? Do I need to look at one of those vanity publishers who I pay to publish the book and then pay them, you know, for them hosting the book when it doesn't sell? I thought, I don't want to go down there. I just want to publish it myself. So I went online and I started finding these things about KDP. I thought, well, this is going to be good. This is going to be a good practice. You know, I can upload, maybe, maybe get the hang of how to put a cover together, how to make it fit. How to make the pages work. Yeah, it's, it's not going to cost me anything. So, obviously, even better. So, my first book was a lined journal. And I think I went over the top with it. It's 180 pages. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's a bit of a thick one. And um, I sold very few of these, of this one. Um, I think maybe, probably half a dozen. That's it. Um, so it wasn't a great success, but it was my first published um, book. Yeah, it's a book. And I thought, well, why not keep making them until somebody actually finds something they like? I mean, it's all right me using, I could use hair and beauty or armoring or um, cooking or something, just journals about all these things, but maybe something a little bit more fun. So I started looking at activity books. Meanwhile, I'm still writing this book, um, this long form book. And it took me a year to write. It was it worth it? Of course it was. Yeah, absolutely. Because it was at that point, once that was published, that I was no longer a writer, just writing the book. I was an author. I was a published author. Um, but being an author, whether you are, you can argue whether it's published or not you know, a published author or not a published author, that's, uh, but if it's out there and it's been published well and you're the author, well, you're a published author, aren't you? It doesn't have to be published through a traditional pub publisher for you to be called a traditional, uh, uh, an author. So, yeah, it was great. It was a great feeling. And... Um, that's what I am now. I'm no longer a writer. Well, I'm still a writer. I write all kinds of things. 
But uh, I'm also an author. And I'm a published author. And I'm making money from my books. And that's that's the addiction, you know. You, you, you're creating something that someone else is going to like. Whether it's a line journal, which I started out with. My first book was a line journal. And that's why, you know, when people say it's all line journals. And all that. Think of line journals as a way to get into publishing. It's going to give you the practice. It's going to give you some ideas. And once you start creating line journals, because that's probably the easiest, other than blank pages, which you're not going to get away with unless it's a, a sketchbook. And, you know, even then it's not, it's not so easy. But, um, yeah, a line journal with page numbers. And you're still going to be able to put that up. You have to tick a box now to say that it's um, it's low content if it's a line journal. But uh, so what, you know? If you get a bit of practice going with something like that, you'll soon be hooked. I'm, I'm no doubt about it. And I'd love to hear from any of you who've been hooked just creating low content books. Sure, there's going to be a lot of you that have been disappointed with the results from low content books because there's millions and millions and millions of them out there and you know probably nowhere near as many people wanted to buy them as there is books but you know that's uh, that's the way it goes and try to steer away from the idea of just creating line journal after line journal um, to make a fortune look at where it could lead you and that's where you're gonna really make your money unless you have some good luck with a with a line journal i'm not against them like i say i started that way and um i'm glad i did because now i do all kinds of children's books long form books cookbooks story books all, all sorts of things uh and i could be sat there and watching the tv and i could something could come on the tv and i'd go you know what i'm gonna make a book on that and within a few days or a week or whatever uh, if it's reasonable, you know, small in size, uh, I'll have created that, that book. You know, I can spend months and months and months. I've still got two books there, two long-form books that I'm working on that I started last year. Uh, but everything keeps getting in. That's something else will get in my mind, and I'll write this book, short book and then go back to the other. Uh, but I really need to sit down and finish these two long-form books because they are very good um, and they do interest me. But everything interests me. You know, it's... Um, I look forward to it. I look forward to sitting down here next to the computer. I have my screens here like this, you know, and I have my drinks and everything's here, my comfortable chair. And, yeah, I'm ready to go. And, uh, yeah, make yourself comfortable. Make yourself a cup of coffee. Get hold of the keyboard and the mouse and, um, yeah, go for it. You know? Don't let people put you off. You know, you want to make some land, you want to publish to KDP. Don't let people put you off. It's what got me into it, and only a few years ago. And I can't, I can't see myself ever stopping. Unless KDP stops, in which case I'll have to find something else, somewhere else. I may even become uh, a publisher myself, as in, um, not so much a traditional publisher, but yeah. You know, I may even look look down that road next and have people send me their books which I can publish for them. I don't know. You know, the sky's the limit. And, uh, yeah, I love it. I stay clean. I'm not in the building industry anymore. Uh, or running around like a blue-ass fly for someone else. So, yeah. It's addictive. <laughs>